Guyan, Giard, and Zia are not the only people to have crossed the ice bridge. They have been captured by exiles who have banded together. If the two groups can cooperate, their chances of survival increase. It's avenging me. Those like us. It's avenging me. Nanga. The young hunters have no choice but to join their captors. They can't risk life without their boat. The leader of the exiles, Atan, has insisted they travel south in search of food, and more importantly, the right stone to make tools. There are increasing signs that the New World is very different from Europe. In the Ice Age, a giant wall of ice dominated North America, more than a mile thick. At the foot of the ice were great open grasslands. Grazing on these grasslands were creatures new to the clan, and others in numbers greater than they could imagine. But the new arrivals were not the only predators competing in North America. The saber-toothed tiger weighed twice as much as a modern-day lion and boasted front fangs more than six inches long. It could easily kill prey twice its size. Even more dangerous was the short-faced bear. Standing over 10 feet tall, this bear was the largest that ever lived. Capable of speeds over 35 miles per hour, it was the most powerful predator in the Ice Age. The exiles were seal hunting when they were caught on ice floes that carried them west. 
But unlike their captives, they have no reason to return home. The young hunters will have to learn to trust the exiles. Alone, they won't survive. To survive here, they must fend off attackers. They urgently need new weapons, and for that, they must find the right stone. Stashing their boat, they head south away from the ice. They follow a river inland in search of exposed rocks. After a long trek, they have finally reached what will one day be Virginia. Here they've found what they've been searching for. Seventeen thousand years from now, archaeologists will find this spear point. It is the earliest evidence of humans in North America. The archaeological record shows that the clan camped here for one reason. Flint, the rock that makes everything possible. Ice Age people traveled hundreds of miles for the right kind of stone. They can shape it into knives, scrapers, any kind of tool. Giard's spear point is sharper than a surgeon's scalpel. It can penetrate the thickest tides. Cool. It is time to find their prey. <laughs> <laughs> 